Welcome to my first ever film reveal. This is where I get the negatives or the positives back from the lab. I have a look at them and I give you my initial reaction. Um, because with digital photography, you just look on the back of your screen in the field and you can get that reaction there and then, but with film, it's quite different. So this is quite an interesting insight um, into the large format world, I suppose. So for me, I'm quite looking forward to this video. So let's just get straight into it. So I've got the film here and I'm curious to see what it looks like on my makeshift iPad light table. Um, I'm going to start off with the first sheet of Ektar 100, which I exposed, which is a negative. So, oh, right, okay. <laughs> so you can, uh, yeah, you can clearly see I've made some kind of mistake here. Um, if you look on the right hand side here, you can see there's, there's some kind of line down the side. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. Really don't know what that is. Uh, could be that I haven't loaded the film into the holder correctly. I'm not sure, but I'm not worried. We'll not dwell on that too much. Okay, well, it's sharp, so that's good. Um, and it looks, it looks well exposed. But it's difficult to tell because I'm not used to looking at negatives. Um, but it, it's sharp <laughs> and reasonably exposed. It's not crazy. Okay, so this is the second <laughs> sheet of Ektar. So I, um, yeah, I accidentally exposed this whilst fiddling with the lens. Oh. So you can see my face there looking at the lens. But interestingly, what you can also see is that line down the side, hmm, okay. So yeah, I've never loaded film into a film holder before, so I was expecting some mistakes. Um, but I don't know if the same thing would happen twice, so it looks like it could be something else, but you can see there's a line there. Hmm, anyway, there's my face, yeah. Another sheet of Ektar negative. Uh, again, issue with this line here. Third sheet, different film holder, and We've got a prominent line down the side. That in the corner is my uh, dark slide, which I'm trying to shield the lens from the sun with. Proper schoolboy error there as well. E, I've got to tell you, it's not going well. Um, on the plus side, they look well exposed and they look sharp. So that that is good news. Everything else, bad news. Okay, last sheet of Ektar. Uh, looks possibly slightly underexposed. Uh, or overexposed, it's a negative. Um, God, I'm not used to looking at negatives. It looks sharp. Again, we've got a line down there, not as prominent as the others, but there is a line. Okay, well, that's the Ektar. Um, I think a couple of those looked okay. One, one looked okay. Let's have a look at the Velvia. This will be a bit more interesting. Okay, first sheet of Velvia, oh God's sake. <gasps> You know when you used to take pictures at school? Oh, you, your grandma used to take pictures at a wedding and she'd have a finger over the lens. Oh man, that's what I've done here. That is my hand trying to shell, shield it from, shield the sun from the, uh, shield the lens from the sun. What an idiot. Right, okay, ignore my finger. Um, I won't make that mistake again, I promise. It looks a touch underexposed. Also, look at this line. Okay, so this isn't a film loading issue. It can't be. I can't have loaded all the film incorrectly. Um, if anybody can tell me what this line down the side is, I'd be greatly appreciated. Also, there's a, a very strong colour cast on this film and actually where the line is that 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 marginal gap down the side that very narrow margin there that looks like it's got less of the color cast than the rest of it this looks very red you no know, very magenta which i know you do get a strong color cast with velvia but what is confusing is that there's no color cast just on the side where that line is okay well that one's no good anyway that can Right, last sheet of 
Velvia, Velvia, Velvia. Okay, right. Much better. It's a much better. It's a much better exposed. He, we've, st oh, we've still got this line. See how there's a line here, and, and if you can see, the tiny narrow margin doesn't have the red colour cast. Um, so what is this line? What is causing this? It's on every single sheet of film, a line on the right hand side. That is annoying. Um, and you know, I don't, I, can't, I don't know what it is. I don't know why. I don't know why there's a line. Um, cause again, I'm incredibly inexperienced with this, so maybe someone can tell me. Um, okay, well on the plus side, it's well exposed, I'd say almost perfectly exposed. Um, I love the gold highlights of the reeds. Um, let's have a look. It's sharp. Pin sharp. And the colour cast is not as pronounced as on the other sheet of Elvia, but it's still there. Now, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Um, compositionally, I think the image is average. I, I think here I've used too much tilt in the lens, so the background's sort of pin sharp as well. I think I would have preferred the background thrown out of focus. Um, but this, yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. I think technically it's okay. Uh, compositionally, it could be better. Um, and I think I need to sort out this issue before I shoot anything else. Um, right, let's get these scanned and have a quick look on the computer. Okay, so I have just had those, um, some of those sheets scanned. I had one Velvia scanned and two Ektar scanned. Um, and since having them scanned and looking at them on the computer, the issue with the colour cast, I am almost certain, is due to shooting into direct sunlight. It looks to me like possible lens flare, but I'm not entirely sure about the consistency of the strip down the side. I still don't know what that could be. Um, if you have any ideas, please do let me know. Now, the reason I think the color cast issue is probably lens flare is this image here. This one is the one that actually made it into the video, although it was quite heavily cropped, which you should not be doing if you're shooting 4x5 film. Um, but it also goes to demonstrate the quality of the resolution of shooting with such large film. So you can see here we have this uh, very, very prominent red colour cast and this image was actually taken probably when the sun was at its brightest. So that's why I think the colour issue is the sun, this strip down the side could be the where the hood of the lens is, um, let me see, so there is a recess in the lens obviously where the filter thread is, um, so that would cast a shadow, maybe that explains, well, basically it could, it's probably just down to my incompetence and not shielding the lens correctly from the sun, although I was sure, I was sure that I was shielding from the sun, but it was quite difficult because the sun was low in the sky going straight into the lens, hence why my hand or um, dark slide was in some of the images. Anyway, um, overall I'm quite happy with the shoot, I'm disappointed I needed to crop, um, but it's all a learning process. So. This here is an Ektar image, this is the one that appeared in the video, you can see the colour cast most likely due to shooting in the sun. This one is another Ektar, still has the colour cast, still has the strip down the side, however this image you can see the sun wasn't as bright so that was actually behind a thin layer of cloud, which um, makes sense, it makes sense for the colour cast to me anyway. And then this is the Velvia. Um, again, the sun was behind the clouds, there was would have still been a bit of lens flare. What I'm thinking is perhaps on this one I didn't cover the lens because I was stupid 
and thought the sun was behind the clouds. I must say the sun was very low in the sky and very directly into the lens. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great learning curve. I made a few mistakes. There's a lot I would do differently. I might go back and reshoot the same scene again. Um, and it was great. Another thing I would also say with regards to the film, um, I don't know if I've handled it very correctly be, or very well rather because I have gone out with a large format camera at least five or six times and taken the film with me, not shot anything and come back home. Now sometimes those trips have been a couple of days, sometimes just a couple of hours, but basically the film has been in and out of the freezer, so it's been cool, warm, cool, warm. I mean I've made every effort to try and keep the film cool, but it's um, it's not always easy. Uh, anyway, that's it, I'm waffling, so I am now going to move on from this, and I am going to choose my photograph of the week. This week's Heaton's photo of the week is by Anthony Lamb. Uh, you can follow him on Instagram at Anthony Lamb. And he's, I, I am a big fan of negative space, simplicity, and soft tones. It's, it's something that's very, very difficult to do well, very difficult to achieve. Um, and Anthony has absolutely nailed it with this image. It was photographed in Dubai. It just, the conditions look fantastic. Looks like there might even be a sandstorm, very diffused light. And he's focused on this one isolated tree and the contrast is so nice. The texture and detail in the sand and the warm soft tones. And then you just get this rich black tree that just sticks out as an obvious subject. Great focal, focal point. He's placed it perfectly in the frame. Um, and then we have all this negative space above it, which I love. A lot of people would, you know, tend to go in tight and isolate a subject and crop in um, quite close. Uh, but Anthony's done a really nice job here of giving the subject, room to breathe. Um, he's absolutely nailed it. So, well done Anthony, a top image. And if you want your image to feature as Heaton's photo of the week, which also gives me something to talk about, then please tag your images on Instagram with the hashtag HPOW. Follow me on Instagram at Heaton Thomas. And uh, yeah, just, just get it done, get out there, shoot some images, tag them, please just tag one photograph though, that would be greatly appreciated, um, and make it your best one. All right, thanks for watching, bye for now. Ah, oh, finally made it to the summit of Great Gable. Oh, oh, look at this. One hour until sunset, and I feel like I'm on top of the world. Ah, oh, this is amazing.